Butterflies are part of our natural heritage and have been studied for over 300 years. They are often portrayed as the essence of nature or represent freedom, beauty or peace. They are indicators of a healthy environment and healthy ecosystems. They are important for pollination in plants and as food source for other species. People enjoy seeing butterflies both around their homes and in the countryside. Yet, they are taken for granted. Imagine a world without butterflies. Not too far from reality. In the last 150 years, nearly 70 species have become extinct. Researchers find that species are disappearing because of pollution, pesticides and habitat loss. If we want to survive in a colourful surrounding, give butterflies a chance to thrive. Keep it pale, let them fly. Just as butterflies are endangered, so is art in Nigeria. Right now, as I speak to you at this very moment, museums and galleries are empty because people do not visit them. Art is not valued in Nigeria and is just not out there in the open space. It is missing in the schools and colleges. And for many youngsters, their artistic talents have been buried. We artists are not appreciated. We are usually sidelined. And for a female artist like me, it's even worse. Don't get me wrong. We actually have successful artists from Nigeria. The problem is most of them are based abroad. One of them's name is called Akunye Le Crosby. She was recently awarded by the Makoto Foundation for her work in art. She is being celebrated right now in the US. And there is also Laolu Shobanjo, who was commissioned by Nike to design shoes. He is being celebrated by the New York arts community in the US. Now you might ask, why is art important? You see, art allows us to express ourselves. It allows us to tell our story. It frees us from social constructs and norms. When we see art, it makes us begin to ask questions about the issues happening around us related to politics, economics, and culture. It makes us to think. It makes us to question social ills. And you know what? When we begin to think about certain social ills, then we come up with solutions. We start to make use of our critical thinking ability, and then we come up with innovations that can solve this problem. At the same time, art also enables us to make use of our creative think abilities and also to apply our imagination. When I was a child, I loved drawing and painting from storybooks and textbooks. It was so much fun for me, and I loved to design clothes for my dolls. I really enjoyed doing it. But then, when I got to my teenage years, I decided that I was going to be a doctor. <laughs> Simply because all my life, I only heard about doctors, engineers, lawyers, but I never heard about any artists. I was simply not exposed to it. At the same time, my parents were not well informed. So we both agreed that, oh, I should go ahead and do medicine since I was good in biology and chemistry. And so I applied to the university to do medicine, but instead I got biochemistry. That was the first time in my life I ever heard the word biochemistry. But I accepted anyway because I didn't want to stay back at home. So I got to the university, I passed through it, and I came out with good grades. Then, it was time for me to get jobs. <laughs> and everybody were watching and looking, let's see, which job will she get? Will she really get a job in this economy where there's massive youth unemployment? And then, I started to apply. And I applied, I did several applications, and finally, I was called for an interview. It, for, it was for a pharmaceutical sales rep job. <laughs> So I went for the interview, and throughout the interview, all I did was talk about art. Every question I was asked, I talked about art. And even on my CV, my achievements, it listed all the exhibitions I went for. And you know, so as you can guess, I did not get a job. <laughs> but that moment in my life made me realize that my love lies for art and not for biochemistry. And so I made a resolve to retrace my step and do what I really love which is art. So I started to paint and I started to draw and people were recognizing my work and they were demanding for my work and buying my work. 
At the point, I even met with the vice president of Nigeria at that time, and he congratulated me for my work. So the recognition I felt made me to start thinking that, what can I do for other young people like me that have the same problem but not the same opportunity? What can I do to help them? And at the same time, what can I do to change this inappreciation of art by the Nigerians? And so I got connected to Olutosin, a Kantari graduate from 2013. And the project is called Turn Trash to Treasure, and she uses it to address the issues of abuse of women. So she encouraged me to apply for Kantari. And that was how, just after three weeks of getting married, me and my husband decided that I should go to Kantari. So this was how my journey began. And this has led me to start my organization called Kipepeo. Kipepeo means butterfly in Swahili. People sometimes say artists are all over the place, flying from one place to another. They never stay in one place. Well, I say, that is the beauty of being an artist. I want my beneficiaries to become Kipepeos that are beautiful, colorful, and free to fly. That is why I want to create a space for those that are unemployed and underprivileged between the age of 15 to 24 to come to my academy and freely create art, do whatever they want to do. You want to paint the old world, you are free. You want to sculpture anything, you are free. And that way, I want to also bring those Nigerian artists abroad back to Nigeria to connect with my beneficiaries and help them develop their talents. Secondly, to change this culture of inappreciation of art and to fill those empty museums and empty galleries. I want to start a biannual art festival, such like the Biennale of Italy and the Documenta of Germany, where art can be in the open space and people can see it and interact with it. And you know, people can be encouraged to, parents can be encouraged to tell their children to do art. Finally, I want to advocate for the inclusion of art in schools and colleges in the curriculums of schools and colleges so that young children can get exposed to it at a young age. And when it's time for them to decide on what they want to do, they know that this is what I want to do without anybody or the society telling them otherwise. With this, I hope that young people in Nigeria are encouraged to follow their passion for art and live a life of self-reliance. Now I want to ask you a question. Would you want to live in a street like this with no color or would you rather live in a street that is filled with art and colors? Yeah. Art is part of our natural being. It represents beauty, color, and freedom. It is important for communication, freedom of expression, and raising awareness. People love to see it in their homes and around their surroundings. Yet, it is taken for granted. Imagine a world without art. A, a world without butterfly, just like a world without art. Boring and bland. <laughs> if we want to survive in a colorful surrounding, we need to appreciate art. Keep a pale, let them fly. Yeah. Thank you.